Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you one of the most powerful scripting routines I've discovered, and also a simple trick you can implement that's going to massively boost the power of your script. So the first step is actually not to script. The first step is to simply imagine the thing that you want to manifest. So whatever it is, whether it's a job, a relationship, or going to a new country, a certain amount of money, whatever it is, you need to just imagine it as you would if you were actually there in as much detail as possible. The reason you need to do this is because you need to get super clear on the exact details of the thing you want to manifest and also exactly how it feels to you. So once you've done that, you can then move on to scripting. So for your script, you want to write down what you want to experience in as much detail as possible. And every statement you make, you want to surround it with a description of how that makes you feel. So for an example of this, it could be if you want to manifest a specific amount of money, you would write, I, I now have this amount of money. And you would surround that statement by descriptions of how having that money makes you feel. So for example, you could write, I feel at ease, I feel free, I now feel like I can do all the things I want to do. So you'd surround that statement, I now have this amount of money with that description of how you feel. So you're really going into the feeling of it and bringing that to life for your script. So that's how you want to write your script. Um, the one thing you don't want to be specific about is how this thing comes about. Because if you're too specific about that, if you script that it came to me through this avenue, what that does is it closes you off to the infinite possibilities through which that thing could come to you. And there could be multiple easier and faster ways that this particular thing you want to manifest could come to you. So you don't want to shut yourself off from any of that. So when, if you're scripting about a job, a relationship, um, or a new opportunity you want to receive, don't ever say it only happened this way. Don't ever write it happened this way. Leave that open. You can even write statements like, um, it came to me in ways I never expected because that really opens you up to the possibilities. So that is the one thing you don't want to be specific about. Everything else, the details of what you want to experience and the way it makes you feel, you want to be really specific about that, but not how it comes to you. So that's how you're going to write your script. The next step after this is to read it every morning and every night. And here's the simple thing you can implement that's going to massively boost it. It's very simple. What you want to do is when you read it at night time, you want to read it about five times just to really bring, bring it to life, really get into the emotions of it. And then you want to go straight to bed, but you want to fall asleep imagining the thing you've just scripted about. So you literally just imagine the scenario that you've scripted about. You imagine it over and over again in as much detail as possible, feeling it as much as you possibly can, and then fall asleep in that state. Because what this does is anything that you fall asleep imagining or feeling or thinking, it goes so much deeper into your subconscious mind than it will do if you're just doing it when you're awake and then moving on to other things. Anything you go to sleep thinking about or feeling or imagining, it goes so much deeper into your subconscious mind. And because it's so deeply in there, whatever you go to sleep imagining is bound to come to fruition. It gives it so much more power. When we fall asleep, our consciousness steps through a doorway into a deeper level of consciousness. So anything you take to that place with you is bound to come to fruition. It goes so much deeper into your subconscious mind. It's amazing. So you never want to go to sleep thinking about anything you don't want to manifest. And we, we all do this sometimes. I've done it so many times. And when I changed this, when I, when I started controlling what I went to sleep thinking about, my life changed massively and I had so much more energy. I wasn't waking up feeling negative anymore because I hadn't gone to sleep feeling negative. Okay, so you fall asleep in the state, you wake up in the state. It's very powerful, so make sure you do this. And it's going to massively boost the power of your scripting. So you read the script about five times or however many times it takes you to really get into the feeling. 
and then straight away you go to bed imagining that scenario that you've scripted over and over again and you fall asleep like that, okay? Then when you wake up, obviously, as I said, you go to sleep in the state, you wake up in the state, but I also like to pick up the script first thing in the morning just to reinforce it even more. So it's the first thing I'm kind of stating to the universe, you know? Obviously, if you go to sleep feeling that, you're gonna wake up feeling it, but it's still good to be reading it as well. So read it a few times first thing in the morning as well, and that's gonna really reinforce it. Scripting is super, super powerful, but when you also apply going to sleep in the state of the wish fulfilled, which is how Neville Goddard um, explains it, it boosts it so much and it makes it so much more powerful. It takes it to a whole new level and it's so simple as well. If you want to know more about going to sleep in the state of the wish fulfilled, I recommend checking out Neville Goddard because he he was the one that coined the term um, the state of the wish fulfilled. So I recommend listening to him because he'll explain it really well. Um, but yeah, that's a very, very powerful scripting method. It will definitely work for you. It's extremely powerful. So I hope you have fun with it. If this video helped you, please like and subscribe and I hope to see you in the next one.